It may look harmless, but it's deadly. The human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, has killed more than 25 million people since 1981. And the number of new infections continues to grow. In Germany alone, some 3,000 people contracted HIV in the last 12 months. The disease is still incurable. That's because HIV smuggles its own genetic code into the nuclei of immune cells. What are known as T-cells, which normally protect humans from pathogens, are neutralized in this way. They're given a new task, producing more copies of the human immunodeficiency virus. The infection runs its devastating course. At the Max Planck Institute for Molecular Cell Biology and Genetics in Dresden, Frank Buchholz decided to use an enzyme to try to remove the viral genes from human cells. This enzyme is a protein that binds to DNA in a sequence-specific way. In other words, it recognizes precisely that sequence. Then it binds to that gene in the DNA. After binding with the sequence, it cuts the DNA and then reattaches the two loose ends. It's like a cut-and-paste operation that allows you to cut out particular sections of DNA. It sounds simple, but naturally occurring enzymes can't recognize the HIV genome. So researchers had to create one that's not found in nature, a painstaking and tedious process. The result is an enzyme belonging to a class of proteins called recombinases, which fits precisely to the ends of the virus genome. The HIV's genetic material is cut out and metabolized. The cell has been disinfected. For the first time, the researchers have succeeded in healing a cell in this way. But one cell is not an entire organism. It's still unclear what other effects the enzyme could have on a patient. And the researchers still have to figure out how to keep the body from breaking down the enzyme before it accomplishes its mission. Up until now, HIV patients like these in the outpatients clinic at the University of Dresden have been treated with pills and injections. More than 20 different types of medication are currently available to treat the disease, but they can only prolong life by delaying the outbreak of full-blown AIDS. There are different treatment options that interrupt different parts of the reproductive cycle of the HIV virus. One class of substances prevents the virus genome from incorporating itself into the host genome. Another class of drug prevents the viral proteins from synthesizing properly. And now there are completely new drugs that can prevent the virus from penetrating the cell. But all of these drugs have severe side effects and until now none have been able to heal patients. That's because the virus's genetic material remains intact. Frank Buchholz and his colleagues still have a long way to go before they find a therapy that completely wipes out HIV. But their research has led them to a new approach in the fight against the disease. They now know exactly what they want to do next. For one thing, we want to improve the recombinases. We want to make them more efficient. And we hope, of course, that as a result, they'll be more effective than what we've got already. Another thing we want to do is demonstrate that this system can't only be applied effectively to cell cultures, but is also suited to flushing the virus from an organism as well. Experiments planned for the next few years will show if human beings with HIV can actually be cured. But that treatment is still a long way off. Prevention remains the only adequate protection against HIV.